shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. In the heart of the city lies Singapore's oldest Roman Catholic church, the Cathedral of the Good Shepherd. Most people will remember this church as the brown coloured chocolate church, uh, painted a very dull drab colour. Facing Victoria Street, you will remember it to be supported by a wooden structure. You know, uh, there was peeling of plaster and then you could see the exposed brickwork and cracks on the walls. Uh, different parts of the floor was uh, uh, uneven. Opened by Father Jean-Marie Burel in 1847, the cathedral is the mother church of the Catholic community in Singapore. They had to build a, a church bigger than the chapel they had. You know, they had to accommodate everybody, but that was the only church. I, actually, when it was open, it was the church for everybody. That was the only church they had. But as Catholicism in Singapore thrived, the condition of the cathedral worsened. Father Nicola, the former vice-rector of the cathedral, recalled how the building started to crumble. When they built the church, I mean, in the 19th century, they didn't see the need, you know, to, to have a foundation. We did a renovation, I mean, in 79, 18, and then it took some time. But uh, these cracks, you know, came later, one or two years later, when they started building the uh, NTUC and digging the, the, the foundation. Already the piling there created some cracks in the walls. And I remember Bishop Young, so he was just hoping that the whole building would collapse. In 2013, the cathedral finally closed its doors for the restoration. I remember the last service before the church closed. People were sad, but at the same time, I guess people were looking forward uh, to the newly restored church. The church went to great lengths to preserve its unique architectural heritage, paving the way for Catholics to reconnect with their roots. And the pediment facing Victoria Street has its own story to tell. One fine evening, the entire pediment collapsed. Uh, when they excavated the column out, they, what they found underneath the column was the original time capsule as well as the foundation stone of the church. It is supposedly the oldest uh, time capsule in Singapore. In November 2016, the cathedral finally opened its doors once again. The, the church is, is uh, restored. Restored not only physically, you know, but also uh, spiritually. Uh, in terms of its activities, bringing together all the Catholics all over Singapore as a, a, a converging point to be a beacon of light, uh, an example for all the other Catholic churches. In that way, it's like a mother welcoming all her daughter churches, you know, to come back, come back to the mother church. <laughs>